Hello, today we are going to mention how to apply face recognition with Dlib in Python. Dlib offers a state-of-the-art technique for face recognition tasks. Besides, the library covers the all required stages of a face recognition pipeline. Dlib face recognition module requires these files. You have to download these files and unzip them. Secondly, if you haven't installed dlib yet, you need to call pip install dlib command. I have already installed it, that's why I'm going to import it. And the version I'm working on is 19.20.0. You can install the same version I'm working on. Just like that, pip install dlib is equal to 19.20.0. Now I'm going to build pre built dlib models. dlib. Dot get frontal face detector and I store it in the detector object. Secondly, I will need dlib. Dot shape predictor and I'm going to pass the shape predictor file I have already installed in the previous steps and I'm going to store it in the sp variable and finally I will need dlib.face recognition module version 1 and here I'm going to pass the downloaded dlib face recognition resident module version 1 dot and I'm going to store this one in the module variable now I'm going to pass the face image paths that's stored in the dataset folder and the first one is image1.jpg and the second one is the image2.jpg now let's load those images the lip dot load rgb image and pass the image1 path Similarly, load the second one. Image 1 and image 2 are in NumPy format. Let's check it and let's see the content of the image 1. That's a NumPy array. Remember the first stage of a modern face recognition pipeline? It's detection. Let's apply face detection to the image 1 and image 2. I'm going to call detector and pass image1 and pass1 argument here that's image1 detected and similarly I will apply same detection for the image2 one image might include more than one faces that's why let's check the length of the image1 detected that's one it means that it includes one face similarly let's check the image2 it stores just one face. Now I'm going to call sp and pass image1 and pass image1 detected as first argument and get its first face because remember that it might include more than one faces. That's the image1 dot shape. Similarly apply this for the image2. The second stage of a modern face recognition pipeline is alignment. We are going to align these detected faces and we are going to call dlib.getFaceChip and here we are going to pass image1 and image1 shape and that's going to be image1 aligned. Similarly do it for the image2. Let's show this detected and aligned faces, but this requires to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And here I'm going to call plt.imshow and image1 aligned. Do it for the image2 dash aligned. But I need to call plt.show here. Those are aligned and detected faces. And let's remember the original images here. Past image 1 and image 2 
as rove. These are the rove images and these are the detected and aligned faces. The third stage of a face recognition pipeline is representation step. Here we are going to call the ResNet model model dot compute face descriptor and here we are going to pass image one aligned. Similarly do it for the image two and those are image one representation and image two dash representation. Let's see the content of the image one representation. It's a vector and let's check its shape 128 dimensional vector also let's check its type it's the lip dot vector we need to convert it to numpy array we can do it just like that it says you haven't import numpy yet. Let's import it. Import numpy as mp. Now the both representations are numpy array. And the final stage of a modern face recognition pipeline is verification. We need to find the distance between these representations, these vectors. The easiest way to find the distance between two vectors is to find the Euclidean distance value and I copied this function to find the Euclidean distance value and I'm going to call find Euclidean distance function and pass image 1 representation and image 2 representation. That's the distance value. And it's equal to 0 0.37 and finally I need to compare the distance value is less than a threshold value threshold value is 0 0.6 this is proposed in the dlips documentation here I'm going to check if distance is less than the threshold value then they are same otherwise they are different in this case they are same this image pair are same person let's run this notebook for different image pairs image 1 and image 3 in this case this image pair are different person because the distance value between those images are greater than the threshold value let's test it with final image pair this image pair is same because the distance value is less than the threshold value so we have mentioned how to apply face recognition with the lip library it's mainly based on convolutional neural network based deep learning approach it's based on ResNet architecture and it's a state-of-the-art technique thank you all for watching and see you next time